Howdy, howdy, howdy. Welcome to SportsProject.com YouTube channel. I'm Hersey. Um, today we're not working on a Sportster, not even messing with a motorcycle. I'm going to be tinkering on my Jeep. Um, so I got this Jeep brand new uh, a little over a year ago. Um, and past week we uh, went on vacation down the Outer Banks, the Overcook Island. Uh, spent a lot of time on the beach. Um, set up on the beach for the day, set our tent up, all that good stuff. Uh, we use our cooler as our table. Now the problem with that is, is anytime you want to get a refreshing beverage, right, you got to take everything off of it and uh, then put everything back on it after you get your beverage. So I um, started looking around at some like camp tables that I could pack the tape with, take with me uh, and then I thought, well, I think I've seen um, a table that actually attaches uh, to the tailgate on the Jeep. So sure enough, um, a little searching on Amazon, came across this uh, rough country um, tailgate table. Uh, it has the, a fold down table, uh, the hardware, instructions. Um, pretty, uh, the instructions are pretty good, pretty, it's pretty self explanatory though. Um, and I'm just going to walk through uh, installing the table on my uh, 2020 Jeep Wrangler JL uh, Unlimited version. So, couple of things you need. You need a, a trim tool kit. Um, I'll post uh, a link to the one I use. It's a fairly inexpensive kit found on Amazon. Um, I've actually used it for a lot of things, not just on the Jeep, but on my wife's car, on my daughter's car. You know, uh, anytime you have to pull some trim off to do something. Um, pretty, pretty simple kit, pretty easy to use. Uh, need a four millimeter um, hex and a half inch drill bit. Now, the, uh, on the Amazon uh, listing for this, it says it's no drill, and, and it's no drill into the body, uh, but you do have to drill into the um, trim piece on the tailgate. So as what we'll do first is we'll, we'll take the, uh, the trim off the tailgate and you stick the trim tool in there, work around until you can get your fingers behind it and get it pulled off. Pretty easy not much to it. Now on this there's uh, three hole or four holes you have to drill. Right? So there's one here, one here, then there's two dimples. One dimple here and one dimple here. And that's where we'll be drilling out holes. Now those holes correspond to pre-threaded inserts from the factory. And that's what we're going to be mounting the uh, the table too is those pre pre threaded inserts that are already in the door. So first thing we have to do is uh, move this out of the way. And just set it right here in the in the hot sun so it gets nice and warm for the next time I touch it. Um, half inch drill bit. Just gonna carefully drill through. live folks I got the torque setting set too low on that can fart on it should have checked that before I started the video now there's one drilled out flip it around Work on the second one. Two drilled out. Clean it up a little bit. Again. Now the dimples on the dimples is what we'll use those as the centering guide for these two holes. Number two, put it on the center there. Okay. 
All right, so we got the four holes drilled. Once you get those four holes drilled in it, we're just going to put the trim uh, back on. And it should just set it in there, line them up, and just pop it back on. Now, if we did everything right, those uh, holes. line up with those factory holes and it appears they do. Um, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to get into our hardware. Um, there's several spacers included and then there's also some mounts for the, uh, the rubber uh, snubbers as they call them in the directions. Uh, to, to mount into so that when the, the tray is up it doesn't rattle. Because what we're going to do is we're going to put these spacers in the holes. Now it does come with two sets of uh, two different size spacers. Kind of a thick one and then a thinner one. We're actually using just the thinner one. There's four of them. I guess the other spacer is for a different, if you have a different um, type of Jeep, right? So I don't know. I know this says it fits um, 2018 through 2021. Uh, this is a 2020. Um, I don't know if you just need other, may need other spacers if you are um, putting them in, in a different Jeep. So now, we can take and lay the table down and just check our fit and we look, we look good there. So it has uh, bolts and the key for the, the snubber and we'll just get one of these started. be a little bit easier with two people. Uh, let's see what we're going to do. Can make happen here? You don't want to tighten them all the way up uh, yet uh, because you, you do need it to be able to um, adjust when you put the bottom bolts in. So I'm going to just put them both in, get them hand tight. they're in there but not so tight that they move around everywhere. Now to do the bottom bolts you have to take the table off. Now well, the last one right over here and this is why you don't want to tighten the top bolts up all the way because you need to be able to kind of move it a little bit uh, up or down. Got that in there. Back up. Nice and tight. Now I'll go ahead and tighten the top ones up. Now they haven't put any kind of torque specs in the uh, installation instructions. Um, I'm guessing just don't like gorilla tighten them down. You know, just they just need to be good and snug um, so it doesn't move around. Uh, once we have that done, then we can put together I dropped one of those Teflon bushings. Just a little Teflon bushing that uh, goes between the the rack and the 
table. Try to put the other side in here. Be a little easier with two people. Got them both in, and then I put the, the ten millimeter nut back on. And then we take the two uh, rubber snubbers and they just get pushed into that top spacer. There. And then once they're in there, we can fold up the table. There you go. Installed, need a table, pull it out. Camping table would probably work great too, but then you gotta remember to pack it. This one, it's always with me. Uh, at least always with me as long as I'm in my Jeep. Um, seems to be well, really put, well put together. Um, the finishes on it is pretty good. I, I've gotta tighten up uh, those bottom pivot bolts um, on the table, but you get the gist of it, it's ready to go. Set the table down. Move the stuff off the cooler. Grab a nice refreshing cool drink. And there you have it. Little trail table on a Jeep Wrangler JL 2020. This is from Rough Country. I'll put a link uh, uh, Amazon, uh, to the Amazon uh, page for this uh, down in the description link to the trim tools um, pretty neat little little deal we'll see how it holds up but so far i think i'm going to dig it till next time build tinker and ride thanks for watching